Hello traders and welcome to Trading with Bill Forex and Options. What's going on? It is a Monday, November 23rd, 2015. Trading with Bill, helping losing traders become winning traders and we do that as a group. As a group, all together as a team, we can do this. We can get these profits and make these trades work. All right, great to be with you. Coming to you live from Pattaya, Thailand. Cloudy skies. Looks like some got some thunderstorms coming in right off the Gulf of Thailand, and I'm just sitting at my desk waiting. <laughs> See if the lightning hits. Traders, we're about an hour and 45 minutes into. I'm sorry. Yeah, an hour and 45 minutes into the London session. Had some data come out. A lot of PMI came out today. Um, no market movers. Um, German PMI came out. Um, Euro didn't even budge. <laughs> Just stayed where it was. Pulled back a little bit. That's about it. Didn't do very much. So pretty quiet. We'll take a look at that. Got some uh, charts for you. And we'll take a look at all that good stuff. Uh, commentary is we do have a holiday on Thursday, the 26th, as it is Thanksgiving in America. And the markets and stock markets um, are, I think they're doing a half day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I remember right, Thanksgiving, they do a half day. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, they're off. I gotta check that. No, nope, I think they're off. I think they're closed on Thanksgiving. And this, I just confirmed it. Uh, they are closed on Thanksgiving. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. And we're going to get through it. We've got a busy week ahead. I think we're going to see some low volume a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, we're not going to stop trading because we've got a little bit of low volume from one holiday. Friday, the markets are reopening and at full steam ahead. And I do expect it to be a low day on Friday. All right, let's get started. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is William Gilda, and yes, they do call me Bill. And uh, I've been trading from the year of 2006 in the Forex markets. In 2008, I retired from a wonderful career in the fire rescue department out of the great state of Florida in the U.S., the United States. And nine days later, I got on the Big Bird and came to Thailand for a three-month holiday. Well, traders, it's uh, 2015, and guess where I'm still at? Yeah, I'm still in Thailand. So, yeah, um, how do I trade? Well, I'm always listening to fundamentals. In fact, you probably can hear it in the background. I do have my news feed running, and... I uh, look at fundamentals. I don't trade the numbers. What I mean by that is I don't trade when a number comes out. Um, I don't take that trade. I'll wait 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and see if everything will line up, and then I'll get into it. But I don't trade the actual reading of the number. Um, but we're macro traders. we got to know what's going on around the globe. That's just the way it is. I'm a technician. I love charts. I love um, technical analysis. I love candlestick patterns. I like Price action, price structure, I like support and resistance, Fibonacci. You know, I like to use all the tools you can um, with, uh, you know, to make an advantage on my side that I can be successful in that trade. Okay? So that's basically how I trade. Don't want to really, you know, dove into it too much. It's not that difficult. You all see that as we uh, move along and get into some charts. All right, let's uh, get the legal stuff out of the way. This is our risk disclaimer. Forex and options trading has a large potential rewards, but also a large potential of risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the Forex and options markets. Most importantly, traders, please do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Traders, always remember that past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. And that is our risk disclaimer on a Monday. Hey, let's head over to some... Oh, we're going to take a look at some options charts, all right? Let's go do it. All right, so uh, I... Uh, You're listening to Trade the News. I, I put this up, and um, I didn't put a lot of markings on these charts today. It's, you know, Observation Monday, and we're looking to see what we're going to get into, what we're going to hang out with. But I put, I put this up here because you can see the, the um, rectangle on the bottom of the chart. It's a little hard to see, but you can see it, and that's support. And you can see that this is coming down, and it's um, it's about ready to break that 40 again. It's at 40.5, uh, you know, 40 half. And this looks to me like this uh, really wants to keep continuing to the downside and break that 40 one more time. And you can see on our indicators that the stochastics is now pointed straight down. And the market DNA looks like it's taking a notch up, but I think that when the market's open and this chart refreshes, that this will um, point to the downside. It is outside of trading hours in the U.S. session. Um, even though this chart is calculating, it um, really moves very slowly because um, the U.S. markets aren't open. 
All right, so, you know, just, you know, so why did I bring it up? One, I wanted you to see how oil is reacting. If you take a look, we got the 200 exponential moving average, which is the green line. We've got the purple line, which is the 55, and then we have the 10 exponential moving average, which is the black line. And look at the angle and separation on all these moving averages. They're turned to the downside. There you have plenty of angle and separation. Folks, that tells me this wants to continue to the downside. Personal pivots has a down arrow, as you can see, and that's at 46.65, and that has not changed. We have not gotten another personal pivot to the upside, so we're going to just stay with this, and this just looks like she's going to head to the downside, as predicted. I think uh, Morgan Stanley was talking about $30 a barrel last week, if I remember right. All right, let's take a look at the next slide, and that is... Facebook. You remember we're in Facebook. We're in a uh, vertical spread, and I'm looking to get out. I have a, a closing order, as you can see, to get out of um, Facebook. So we're looking to get out, and we'll probably take a $70 profit, and we were in this for less than two weeks if we can get out today. And uh, we're looking to jump and jump bail on this one. So we'll see how that goes. But yes, we are looking to get out on, on uh, Facebook today. Uh, whatever it takes, we're going to get out of this um, trade and take our profits. We're at about 60% of what our max could be. So that's enough for me. Thank you very much. We'll get out. I did take a hit on, would you believe it or not, Hewlett Packard um, HPQ. I could not believe it. It was midnight Thailand time, so that was 12 Eastern, and I was in profit. Remember, we had a 110 sell and a, um, a one. Um, I'm sorry, a 111, a 112 sell and a 110 buy. And we were in a vertical spread. And this baby, I don't know what happened in the end of New York on Friday, but moved four, $4. Now, this pair has not moved $4. <laughs> um, I don't think ever in a four-hour afternoon. So, yeah, we took a small hit. Small hit. It's not, not, nothing big. So uh, I tried to get out of it earlier in the week, and it would not take me out of that trade. So anyhow, we did take a small hit, but if we can get out of this today, we'll make up for it and still we'll have a, we'll have a green week for this week. So that's what we're looking for. So let's head over and look at some Forex charts. All right. Just give me one second here. All right. All right. Very good. Good, good, good. Yep. I got to tell you, folks, I am an Apple fan. You know, for those of you who are not, I understand, but I love it. I uh, got a notification uh, on my Apple Watch telling me that a payment was made. It's absolutely wonderful. Anyhow, um, let's take a look at this. We are looking at the pound dollar. How bearish is this baby, huh? Um, so we can see the gray box is our... Uh, PRZ zone where we want to basically try and enter this little um, deep crab and you know we want to we want to enter this and remember that these patterns are reversal patterns so we're looking to take this back to the upside we really want to take it to the C wave the C line which is at 1.5309 um, and we'll, we'll take it up to there you know and if you get lucky of course you can get just under the A and get out However, C is really what I'm looking for, and and of course our first take profit is going to be the um, the B wave. However, the B line of the crab. However, what is the problem here? Well, you can see that from last week we have a resistance box up there, and that is from um, this chart, a 30 minute chart. How do we know that? Because it is marked green. If it was from the one hour, it would have been yellow, right? So we're just going to watch this. You know, I'm bearish in the pound dollar, right? I'm bearish in the pound dollar. I really don't expect this to go up. So I'm not I'm not really looking to enter this, um, but I know a lot of people do trade the pound, and I thought it was a good pair to put up today and just show you that, you know, it's completed. It's, the pattern is complete. Now we're just waiting for action, and we'll see what happens. Um, so, you know, the Draghi's speaking like a madman almost every day. He spoke today, and, you know, he's just going at it, and uh, he's still very dovish, dovish on on the situation. He wants his inflation rate to go up, and he's going to do whatever it takes. 
and I think I'm pretty much quoting what he just, what what he said. Uh, look at any um, news media site, and you'll see his comments today in the London session. All right, let's move over. Let's take a look at the um, dollar again. A lot of a lot of people have been bullish in the dollar, and they should be. The dollar is very strong. However, we are basically in sideways price action here for the last week. You know, it looks like last uh, eight trading days we've been basically sideways here. I'm looking for this to pop to the upside. And what what is the concern here is I fibbed the last swing, and you can see we are currently at this 50% level. And that is at 123.20, and, you know, this has gone up to like 123.28 and it's basically stopped. So... What, is, what are we going to look for here? What are we looking to do here? Um, well, if you look left at the chart, you'll see that this deep crab actually worked. This came out of the PRZ. Remember the reversal, the reversal um, harmonics, right? Well, these are reversal zones. And this baby did reverse and gave a nice up move here on the 60-minute chart um, weeks ago. Right? Each candle is a one-hour candle. And so, you know, I wouldn't expect anything but that. It's had its retrace. Now it's sideways, so now we're just going to see if the dollar will maintain, and away we'll go. So it's very possible we're going to stay sideways till the 16th of December until they make their announcement on what they're going to do with the Fed interest rates, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get a rate hike. Um, I would say we're going to get 0.25 basis points, and Goldman Sachs apparently agrees with me, and there are 70% saying that there is going to be a rate hike in December. So we'll see how that um, goes and that does affect this currency pair very very much right it's all, it's all about the dollar here if you do not have a dollar pair on your a dollar index on your trading platform you can use the dollar yen as a good guide for what the dollar is doing okay all right let's take a look at another one this is in New Zealand I was pretty surprised today um, got up early for the Asia session in Thailand I was in front of my charts by 7:20. AM and it, believe it or not, I came to two big red candles on a on a 30 minute chart, and uh, this thing had already taken off. But now I can see it's basically in this range here. We're on a we're on a 60 minute chart here, and it's just doing absolutely nothing. It's just in this range. It hasn't done anything, my friends. Um, that deep crab pattern is pretty much shot. So you know that's I, I wouldn't pay any attention to that. I'm more interested in these fib levels, to be honest with you. And we're coming up to 38.2, which it, it, it's almost touched. And I'm waiting to see if this is going to bounce off of that, pop up, and then come, come back down. Or this is just going to go through it and just take it, take it back down to support. And, you know, you know if you look at the, the D wave on that um, deep crab, you know, that's at 0 0.6430. So, you know, that, that's where you'd be looking, um, you know, possibly for another reversal. And having nothing to do with the harmonic pattern, but it is significant support. So we would want to watch for that. We also have a pretty good amount of support at that um, 64.90 area. I'd be careful of that also. So we've got some areas there that we need to watch in the New Zealand dollar. Folks, I do not want to buy the New Zealand dollar, okay? Um, there's, I have no interest in buying the Kiwi, sorry. Um, but I do want to buy dollars. So... You know, I would. I want to short this. I'm looking for shorts here. I want to short this um, really bad. So that's what that's what I'm looking for here. And 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 that's what you know. That's my intention is to short this. I don't want to you know take this to the upside. All right, let's take a look at one more. And this is the euro dollar. I thought I'd bring this back out again. I know you're probably tired of seeing the same chart, but it's a it's a one hour chart. So we, you know. These things ha hang out for a while. Well, what I wanted to show you was this actually broke support on um, today uh, in the European session, and this was due to Draghi's statements, and this baby just decided to come on down. Actually, it started before Draghi's statements um, because we're only two hours in. So this started in Asia. This started dropping, falling, and um, I was pretty surprised. Like I said, when I, I saw this, and I was wondering what had happened. Well, I pretty much put it together that it was um, Asia, you know, waking up to what happened on Friday afternoon in New York and Europe. So, you know, they, they're profit-taking, they're doing whatever, they're closing positions, and I think that's what this basically showed, and it still shows dollar strength. 
and people are going to continue to sell the, the euro dollar um, because people rather buy dollars and buy the euro at this point and this just continues to sink down so now um, we need to um, change this chart a little bit uh, tomorrow or later today I'm going to see if this goes back into this um, support area um, not that it means that it's supported anymore now it's just it's just there right but I'm just seeing if it's gonna pull back into it and hang out there and go sideways or this is just gonna be a retest of the bottom of that um, support range at 1.0620 and then you know continue to the downside and that's what I'm expecting to be honest with you I expect this to continue down so but I don't want to I don't want to sell this here this is not the price to sell we need we need a substantial pullback you know I want to see this at 1.0640 or 50 you know and that's where I want to take it back to the downside I don't want to sell this here this is not where I want to sell it. All right, so that's our trade plan on the euro dollar. And again, this is an hourly chart. All right, trade is on a Monday, uh, November 23rd already. Can you believe it? 2015. Trade is on behalf of myself, William Gilday. And yes, they do call me Bill. Please follow me on Twitter at WKG1960. Or you can go to my website at tradingwithbill.com and you can watch this video and any of my other videos that I've done over the last couple of years. Just click on to the video channel that's up in the right hand uh, part of my front page and it'll take you right there and you can see everything. All right, traders, have a great trading day and we will be back with you tomorrow. Have a great trading day. Grab those profits, my friends. And always remember to trade smart and not hard. It's 17 hours. Take care, my friends. See you. Bye-bye.